I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm going to start off with a new lip pencil. RMS Beauty came out with a new range of lip pencils and RMS is a clean beauty brand. So this is the Go Nude Lip Pencil. There's 0 0.038 ounces of product and this is made in the Czech Republic and the shade that I got is Daytime Nude. So this is what the box packaging looks like. And it does come with a sharpener that actually is quite compact that closes which I haven't really seen this kind of style of sharpener before but it's really travel friendly because of how it is so it lifts up like that it doesn't get messy and it's still one of those really compact ones you know and it's got a little cleaner in there too so that comes with the pencil and this is actually the pencil that I have got on my lips today it's a warm nude shade and the pencil is a wooden style sharpening pencil obviously because there's a sharpener <laughs> <laughs> um, and I like the color a lot and the formula is pretty nice but I do have to kind of work a little bit to build up that line around my lips because it does it's a little bit more stiff and maybe I just had to work it up I did sharpen it I think twice by now um, but I do yeah I have to go over it to get the opacity for the color a couple times I do use a lip oil though and I wipe it off before I go in with my lip products but sometimes there's a little bit of residual hydration from the lip oil on there so that could be part of it too but other than that I really like the color and the longevity is pretty good um, it's not one of those really bulletproof uh, liners that you know leave that kind of rim around your mouth it kind of wears off nicely throughout the day so I do like that component of it as well and then there's also a little uh, angled brush on there too which usually they have like a lip brush so I thought it was interesting that this is kind of a an angled one so you can really kind of blend out that edge because it's so like small or like flat I should say and it's got that angle on there so that is the RMS what do I call it exactly go nude lip pencil in the shade daytime nude right there and again this is the pencil that I have got on my lips today and I've got it on again with the elf um, hustle lipstick which I really like I hope they expand the shade range of these elf lipsticks because they are a really nice formula and then I picked up the new adept cosmetic seahorse palette I could hardly wait to get my hands on it and you could sign up for like an early release email which is what I did and I think I got I think it was 20% off that I was able to get off this palette and it's pretty expensive I think it's $125 but that being said there are so many like pretty multi-chrome like shades in here that I I strongly feel that it's worth the money <laughs> if you will if you're really into those multi like faceted shadows um, this palette is full of them and they're so so pretty so I'm really excited that I picked it up I've been pairing this palette with matte eyeshadows all week and I can't kind of get enough of it I had to resist today because I tried out another newer palette that I'm going to show you as well which is also really pretty but I do have a dash of a shade from the seahorse on the inner corner but again this is from Adept Cosmetics and this palette is currently available on the Adept Cosmetics website as of the time that I looked on my phone but it is a really pretty one so I kind of anticipate that it's going to sell out a lot of the adept palettes sell out pretty quickly um and they do have a coupon code on their website to save that 20 percent because like I said this is pretty spendy um so there's a total 0.63 ounces of product or 18 grams across 15 shades and this palette is made in China I had to read the um off the little sleeve that comes stuck on the outside of the palette there's actually not any writing on the actual palette which makes it look really pretty to be honest even though I like to have like the information on the palette but it, it looks pretty like this and then here are your little double seahorses which is kind of a decal that's lifted on top of the palette it's just really really pretty and these are magnetized as well so you can pull them out and mix them with other adept cosmetics shades too it says do not disturb on there I don't know what that's about. I did read on the little card that came with the palette. It says each shade is named after a seahorse type. So this is the card that came inside the box right there. And then the shade that I've got on just a dash on the inner portion of the lid is this shade um, soft coral down here, which looks like a pink, but it has a shift of like a golden green. Um, each one of these shadows, when I went to use it, it went on kind of a different way than it looks in the pan so this is probably going to be one of those it's kind of difficult to show through the camera lens but I'll 
try my best. <laughs> this shade right here is very interesting. It's kind of like a marbleized one. And so I went into that one first to use because it looked like to, the most interesting. And it's a really beautiful shade, but I found more interest in the other shades because they were, they were quite surprising. Whereas I thought that one was going to be the one that kind of surprised me in terms of what it looked like. Well, let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches. I can tell just by looking at it in the viewfinder. Yeah, they just don't kind of come across how they look in person. but they are so, so pretty. I hesitated a little bit when I seen the price of this and then I was just like looking at the swatches from their Instagram and I was like, no, you, you, you have to have that. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I got it. And then these next ones. And then these guys. I wore this shade right here with the, the C3, CPO palette from ColourPop, which I just got in an order that I placed. It's that yellow uh, Star Wars one. I was so over the moon with the look when I put that on the lid with that palette. It was just beautiful. And then these last three shades. Just trying to unfocus there. Oh, they're so, so pretty, you guys. So, so pretty. So I grabbed a mirror there. It's always such an awkward angle on my arm when I try to do this, but maybe, I think you can kind of see, right? The flippage, flippage. <laughs> They're just absolutely beautiful shades. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So that is the newly launched uh, Seahorse palette from Adept Cosmetics right there. Again, give you one more look at her. So, so beautiful. And then I placed an order on the ColourPop website for three eyeshadow palettes, too, that I had been eyeing for a long time. And then the Aurora palette, which I have been after for a while. It sold out really quickly, and then it took a while to come back into stock. So I'm going to go ahead and show you these guys. So this is the C3PO Press Powder Palette. <laughs> um, this guy right here, this is the one that I, I put that really shiny orange shade from the Adept Cosmetics all over my lid when I used this. And I was just like one of those eye looks when you look in the mirror and you see the sparkles that you just want to keep looking at, like the sparkles. <laughs> That's how I felt about when I paired those two together. So this guy here, I'm sure you guys have seen this around. It's a little bit older. There's nine grams, so each shade is a gram. So this is the packaging right here. And as always, these are magnetized as well. And there is one super shock in here, which is this guy right here. And it's really quite emollient. Um, so I found it a little bit more difficult to kind of use underneath the brow because it stayed quite emollient. I just kind of wish it was a powder. Um, instead but it is a pretty creamy super shock shade it actually would be a really beautiful face highlighter so i love yellow eyeshadows and these next guys Place another order on ColourPop too. They restocked that um, Winnie the Pooh palette, and I missed out on that one. And I was like kind of bummed by it. <laughs> so I was really excited when it came back into stock, and I picked that guy up along with a couple other items. But and then this last one. But this is a standalone for me as well, even though I enjoyed pairing it with the Adept palette. So that is the C3PO. I know nothing about Star Wars. <laughs> I just really like the color story.
Another one I'd been eyeing that's a little bit older is the Troublemaker Pressed Powder Palette. So this guy's got 12 shadows, a total of 0.44 ounces of product. It's this guy right here. And oh, gosh, I loved the look that came out of this one too. I think I put a dash of one of the Adept shadows when I use this one as well. And I'm telling you, that Adept Seahorse Palette is just a beautiful pairing palette with like all the shadows that I've tried it with, different palettes and stuff, or those beautiful shiny shades on the lid. I've just been loving that guy. So that's what I did with this one as well. And I, again, I love the look that came out of it. So this one's got the larger pans. This is what the packaging looks like on that one. And this one also has one super shock shade, which is this one. And again, a very emollient. I wish it was a powder, a pressed powder, but it is a super shock, which would also make a really pretty face highlighter. <laughs> and these are magnetized as well. This is such a grungy, really pretty, purpley color story. And then this next row. This is a beautiful, beautiful silver. That's kind of like MAC uh, blue brown. And then the bottom row here. Another one that I'm super pleased that I finally picked up because I just love that uh, color story. So that is the ColourPop Troublemaker press powder palette right there. And lastly from that ColourPop order I got the wonderful Aurora Struck eyeshadow palette. I just love color stories like this. I can't believe I like missed it on the first launch. I know it sold out pretty quickly but this has got a total 1.16 ounces of product across 30 shades and the palette kind of has that soft matte texture to it. It's a cardboard with a magnetic closure and this is what the inside looks like. Now I haven't worn all of these Obviously there's quite a few, but the times that I've used it, I've really loved the looks that have come out of it. There are two pressed glitters in here, which are Solar Vibes and Soul Lit. And these are those pre uh, the pressed glitter formula from ColourPop that has got a bit of pigmentation to it with a really strong binder. So they don't like fall all over the face. You do have to kind of um, work it out a little bit on the lid, but in terms of pressed glitters, they're some of the better ones that I have tried in there. Again, are two of those in, the, in this palette and there aren't any super shocks. So, I'm going to attempt to swatch all 30 of these on my arm. I'm going to try to do like two in one row on my arm and hopefully I can fit them all on there. But definitely a standalone palette for me. It's just stunning. I can see why it's sold out um, so many times, you know. It's really, really pretty. So we're going to go one, two, <laughs> and hope that I don't mess this up so that I can make them all fit. I am like super sweating. I need to bring the air conditioner up and these lights and it's like 80 some degrees outside so I'm going to slowly melt probably right in front of your eyes here <laughs> and into some of these minty colors. These are also magnetized as well. I adore that ColourPop does that to like all their palettes. Is this double swatching working? I hope it's working for you guys. I just want to fit them all on my one arm here, you know. And then this row. And then these ones. I 
maybe I'll have enough room now to go all the way across because it my arm is like narrowing so I don't have as much space closer to the wrist area <laughs> guys well oh, that emerald is really pretty and then this bottom row A lot of these are like so soft and creamy. And then last two here, which are both pretty dark shades. Put them right there. So those are the swatches right there of the Aurora Struck palette from ColourPop and it is beautiful. And that's actually everything that I got in that I purchased this week. I know. <laughs> but ColourPop did send me their newest That's So Hot collection which I was super excited about because I could not wait to get my hands on their new Smoke and Hot uh, Mega Eyeshadow palette. So the collection is called That's So Hot. Inside the box, they had these mini Takis hot chili pepper and lime snacks, and then also the Flamin' Hot Cheetos, which I thought was really cute. I won't be eating these. I will give them to my boyfriend, though. <laughs> He'll eat them. So there are five cream gel liners. These are the boxes right here. And I believe they reformulated these. I haven't tried um, any of these five just yet, but I did order one of their newer uh, cream gel liners in a turquoise shade in the last order that I placed with ColourPop. So that's not here yet, but I'm really excited to try this out on the waterline and see how it goes. So I'll give you some swatches of these guys. We've got Honey Dude. Does it say Honey Dude? Yeah, it does say Honey Dude, <laughs> which is a matte kind of cream shade. We'll swatch this guy right here. And these are twist up pencils as well. So that one is Honey Dude. And then we've got Get Lucid, which is a really pretty bronze, red and bronze color. That's a metallic, I believe. That's the shade Get Lucid. And then we've got from lightest to deep three brown colors. This one is Overboard. And this is a shimmering bronze, bronzy brown. So that one is Overboard. And then we've got the shade Sunny Veil. This one it appears to be a matte right here. So this one is Sunny Veil right there. And then the last one is the shade Brew Ha Ha, <laughs> which maybe it's like coffee because it's a pretty deep like coffee color. And this is also a matte formula right here. So that one is Brew Ha Ha. So those are the five cream gel liners. There are also four Jelly Much gel eyeshadows, which I believe they maybe did a slight reformulation and repackaged these, which I've always loved how beautiful the Jelly Much shadows were, but they dr they dry out really, really quickly. So it makes it almost nearly impossible, especially for me to try to use up even a majority of it because they dried out so fast. So they appear to be repackaged and maybe a reformulation, maybe they're a little bit more hydrating so they last a little bit longer. They do feel quite creamy. So these have got 0.23 ounces of product. And again, this is what the box packaging looks like. This first one is the shade, I'll start off light to kind of darkest. We've got Field of Fairies, and this is a champ shimmering champagne. And these do have a stopper in them. And it says, keep me to lock the magic in. So, and I do, yeah, I feel like these have got some more hydrating uh, aspects to them, which hopefully is going to, you know, make them last longer because they're so, so pretty. So this one right here again is the Field of Fairies. And it's a champagne shade with some beautiful sparkles in it. And then we've got the shade Mystical, which is kind of a, got a slight rosy gold champagne aspect to it. So this one is Mystical. And 
Yeah, these are definitely much creamier than I recall the Jelly Much Shadows being, so I'm hopeful that they're going to last longer. So that one again is uh, Mystical right there. And then we've got this really, really beautiful copper shade called Brentwood right here. So this one again is Brentwood. I'm trying to get it off the lid there. So there's Brentwood again. And the last shade is Shiny Penny, which is a, a brown, but it's got like a um, like a red-brown kind of MAC kind of vibe to it, like the red-brown pigment. It's also very pretty. Right here. I remember a shade that came out like this in the night before uh, Christmas collection that was just beautiful. And that is really, really gorgeous too. That one has got a little, these two uh, right here have got a little less sparkle than the lighter two. They're more like a kind of a metallic. They also have really pretty sparkles in them, but they're not quite as sparkly as those lighter two, but still really pretty colors. So that is a shiny penny right there. And lastly from that collection is the Smokin' Hot Eyeshadow Palette. So this is their larger 30 pan pressed powder palette. There's a total of 1.16 ounces of product across 30 shades. This is what the box packaging looks like. And this color story is just a dream. This is probably going to be a staple this summer. It is so pretty. It is a standalone. I was just like sticking my fingers into like all these shades. I have not worn all of these shades just yet. <laughs> but it was so hard to like pick out which eyeshadow palette to wear today because the palettes that I'm showing you are so pretty, you know? Anyway, this one here has got two of those pressed glitter shades, but these have got, again, a nice binder to them and quite a bit of pigmentation. So those are Burning Up, which is like a copper with some golden green, uh, like fine, fine glitters in it. And then you've got Gold Dipped, which is this one up in the corner. And then there are no Super Shocks in this guy. So two pressed glitter pigment kind of shades, and then the rest are mattes and like metallics. And they're so, so pretty. Um, this is a standalone for sure for me as well. Let's try to fit these all on my hand. I know I can get like the double swatch action on my hand because it's wide, but once I get down the wrist, it's a little bit more difficult. Like they're so shiny. And these guys. So this is one of those press glitters that I was talking about. And you can see the pigmentation in there. It's pretty good. Gosh, those metallics are just popping. And here's the next press glitter. They're they're pretty impressive. See, it's got pigment in it, you know, with those infused like binder and micro glitters. We'll just go all the way across here. It's getting a little bit harder. And then this middle row, this color is so pretty too. not mistaken I think Colourpop is doing a site-wide sale um, this Memorial Day weekend too. I'm, I'm not sure if this excludes this palette or not but I'm kind of tempted to. I need another I think Seismic um, Super Shock Highlighter which is the highlighter I've got on my face today. I've like almost used that up and it's one of my favorites. And then these next ones Gosh, I just love colors like this in the summertime. 
I actually like colors like this all the time. <laughs> Who am I getting? We've got some reds and some oranges and some of those shades that lean like that one right there with some purple undertones to it. I have to go to the side here. And then these last two, which are matte eyeshadows. They're so soft. Like, how pretty. Oranges and purples and reds. And just like, such a stunning, stunning palette going into summer. So that's the ColourPop Smokin' Hot Mega Palette right there. Or Pressed Powder Palette. Another new launch is coming from Nomad Cosmetics on Tuesday the 30th at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I've seen pictures of this teased on Instagram and I just always get so excited for Nomad launches. They're one of my absolute favorite indie brands. And this one was like teasing animal stuff too. So then I got really excited because I love me some animals, right? <laughs> so this is their new Okavango Delta eyeshadow palette. So each one of their little like themed palettes by location comes with a, a postcard style informative card. This one is shaped like an elephant and I always love that. They have really good attention to detail over there at um, Nomad Cosmetics. Um, so this is the box packaging and it's so nice. Like I'm, I might house the palette in the box because I really like it. It's got the little um, hippo down in the corner there. And then here is the actual packaging right there. It's got animal print on there. And this is like, a, um, feels like a fabric. It's soft. Um, again, like a fabric. <laughs> and this is what the back looks like. So this guy right here has got a total of 15 eyeshadows and each shadow is 0 0.05 ounces per shade, which is a good amount of product. And it says, uh, proud supporter of Wilderness Wildlife Trust, manufactured at Nomad Labs in China, designed on location encountering Safari's most magnificent creatures. So that's what the back says. And then you open it up and there is a mirror in there. And then here is your palette. So primarily this is the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today. It is not a standalone for me because there isn't kind of a light highlighty shade. So I brought in a matte brow bone shade and then I wanted to kind of jazz it up a little bit with um, a, kind of one of those multi-chromes from that Adept Cosmetics palette which is on the inner corner and it matched really well with this shiny green that I have got on the lid. But if you can see there's prints in quite a few of the shades and then you've also got some marbleized shadows which are migrating zebras, Nile crocodile, and roaring lions. And they're pretty smooth, but the Nile Crocodiles was the one that I kind of had to wiggle my brush to pick up the product, but it went on super well. It's that really shiny green that I have on the lid. And I really didn't get as much stiffness with Roaring Lions or Migrating Zebras. I, again, I get along with the matte shadows from Nomad Cosmetics really well. They're pigmented, they blend out really nice. They're like a soft, you can get them to like a soft diffused wash if you want. Um, I really like, again, their formulation. So let's give you some swatches of this guy. Yeah, their, their mats are so soft. So soft, like flower. Like so metallic. Yeah, those printed are those like marbleized shades. They've got some binder to them for sure, where if I keep sticking my finger and pressing the swatch it, it's probably gonna glaze over just a dash. But I use a flat shader to wiggle it in there and it kind of breaks up the surface. Look at how pretty those are. And then these guys, I love this like mustard green color, it's very nice. I used it to blend out this color and this one, lost where I was at. This one here, when I took my finger to it, it did form just a little bit of that hard pan on there as well. Again, binder, the pressing with the shadow, it's gonna kind of glaze over a little bit. I had a little bit of that issue with their um, Fair Verona palette as well. But like I said, I use a flat shader the majority of time on shimmer shadows and it breaks up kind of that surface pretty good for me.
and then these last three. Oh gosh, my camera is just acting up today. <laughs> So, there are the swatches right there of the soon to be launched, I have to look at the title again, Okavanga Safari palette right there. And then there's kind of a little elephant, you can see him shining on the fabric there. And this is primarily what I've got on my eyes today as well. And a huge thank you to Nomad Cosmetics for sending me over their latest launch. Again, this launch is on Tuesday at 12 Eastern Standard Time. I'm melting. <laughs> also a huge thank you to ColourPop for sending me over their That's So Hot collection as well. Um, Lancome sent me over a package, which I'm feeling extra special about. It's like my first like makeup PR package from Lancome. <laughs> this is their Tawny Doll Ultra Wear Foundation. Um, I kind of signed up and got excited about it because this has got an SPF of 25, and you guys know I really like, especially spring, summer, into fall, I like to have an SPF in my foundation because of the amount of time that I am outside working horses and stuff like that so they sent two shades and I used their shade like finder to try to pick the best shades and I think that both of these are just a little bit too light um so I use a setting powder that, that usually like deepens a little bit on me like something like the um light version of the wet and wild uh powder that you guys see that I talk about quite a bit that I like so this here it says our iconic full coverage natural matte foundation is now better than ever so they must reformulate it I've never tried the original it says undetectable coverage breathability and up to 24 hour long wear powered by advanced airwear technology all day wear and care now infused with hyaluronic acid moringa seed extracts vitamin e and prebiotics mineral oil mineral oil free and waterproof transfer sweat and humidity resistance um, resistant available in up to 50 shades so that is a lot and I think they've got a shade finder on their website too so they came in this little box right here so the two shades I have are 715 C and 220 C they come in a frosted glass bottle that has got one ounce of product and these guys here, I had to lift the little sticker on the bottom. It does say made in France on the bottom of the bottle. So let me swatch the first shade in 215C. These do have a pump. I really like the packaging. It's quite pretty and nicely weighted because it's glass. And then you can uh, just get a little bit. I'll put some on the back here so that I don't have it like running down because it's quite serumy and quite thin. And I've worn both shades of this and I can honestly say like with a, a loose translucent powder it was very hard like up close to like detect that you have like makeup on right so that uh, undetectable wear if you will it's a very light light foundation on the skin when I mean light I don't mean light coverage light it's not a really thick kind of visible formula if you will so this shade right here again is 215 C and again, these have got SPF 25 in them. I do need to put them to the test a little bit more. Each time that I've worn these foundations, I put some days in between because I get scared for breakouts and stuff like that. And I didn't get any full blown like breakouts when I use the foundations, but um, I get a little nervous with consistent use. So I do have to put that to the test. Um, when I use both of them again, I was outside after work wearing the foundations and it's been so, so humid here. And I was like, I'm trimming horses and like, sweating like it's pouring on to my eyelashes <laughs> and I even wear a bandana to absorb sweat but I was like really sweating outside um and it wore pretty good but if I were to take my hand and go like that you know to get like the sweat off then the makeup was going to come with it and I mean that's some pretty extreme conditions with the humidity and like sweating as much as I was working with horses and stuff like that but it still looked it didn't look like makeupy what was left on my face didn't look like super makeupy on the skin you know so again I want to try it a little bit more I I kind of get a little bit more wear time based off the times that I've worn these two shades. Um, I get a little more wear time out of the number seven SPF 50, which is again, primarily what I like to wear in the summer because of that high SPF. Um, but anyway, <laughs> here's 215C right here, which is uh, a bit lighter than 220C. Oh, 
So that one is 215C. And they do have like a little bit of a, the 220's definitely got a little bit more of a pinker undertone than 215. Like you can see on my skin tone, it pulls a little bit yellow, but that's because I have so much pink in my skin. It really could pull yellow, like yellow out of a pink tone foundation because I've got really pink skin. So you can kind of see that right there. Um, let me swatch the number seven. And again, the number seven is what I have got on today. So here is the number seven right here which actually, I mean, you can see that the pink in that number seven, it kind of almost absorbs a little bit more into my skin. You know, and maybe now that I'm looking at them on the back of my hands, the shades actually don't look super light. So it might, it might have something to do with um, the setting powders that I used the day that I'd used them. Because I think I used the Revolution, which is a translucent, but it's got a, a strong white factor to it. That could be part of it. So again, I need to play with these a little bit more to get a little bit better opinion on them, but it's a very, very thin, thin, lightweight formula with, I would say, medium buildable coverage. And when I used them, I think I used two pumps with just a dash more on each cheek because I was quite red in the cheek, but that's the number seven. I mean, I think you could tell that undertone kind of suits me the best compared to those two, but yeah, I'm gonna play around with them some more and see how it goes. And my skin didn't feel dry with these foundations either, which is another plus. Um, some foundations, especially long wear foundations, can kind of constrict the skin because they're a little bit more drying. I didn't feel that with these foundations, so that's good because I do have the drier like skin type. But um, massive thank you to Lancome. I was like super excited. I got my first PR um, package from Lancome with makeup in it. So yeah, huge thank you to them um, for sending over two shades of their new Tony Doll Ultra Wear SPF 25 foundation. And then lastly, I got a PR package from Pixi. They sent over their two new On The Glow bronze sticks, which I've got their three blush sticks that they sent over some time ago, which I really like to wear as like, um, I would just rub my finger over the top and like blend it into my, my lips. My favorite way to use those is more so as a lip product than like a cheek product because these are quite emollient. So they'll, they'll pick up, if I'm not really careful about it, they can pick up my foundation if I put powder on um, before I go in with these. So these type of products work, work best for um, if you want to use it in conjunction with your unset like cream products because they are again quite emollient but they're really pretty shades. So it's the On The Glow Bronze. With one easy swipe our solid balm tints provide maximum hydration in a sun kissed look so you can beam all year round. So these are going to be good too if you want to like put a swipe up your armor and your collarbone or decollete or something like that. They'll work really nice for that as well. So there are two shades of these, uh, 19 grams or 0.6 ounces of product, which is a boat load. And one of these is really pink toned. Like I would love this in a pressed powder version because I like a rosy toned bronze. So this is the warm glow on the glow bronze stick. And these sticks are made in Korea. So here is the pinky toned one. I'll just go ahead and like swipe it like this so you can see the color right there. And there aren't like super visible particles of shimmer or like chunks or anything like that, but there's definitely like a shine to that product. So that shade right there again is the warm glow shade. And then the deeper of the two is the rich glow shade, which is this guy right here. And I love that they coordinate the color packaging so you know what you're reaching for. I love that when products do stuff like that on the actual product packaging. So again, this is the darker of the two, and this also has a um, shimmer running through it. Kind of a copper shimmer running through that. But this also, it's got a bit of a rosiness factor to it as well. Gosh, these are really, really balmy, like hydrating style products but they do provide a really pretty sheen. I just, I have a hard time with uh, really emollient cream products because I like to put cream over set powder because when I do it over foundation, it always moves my foundation. And I know that has something to do with the amount of SPF that I put on and the amount of foundation with SPF that I put on. <laughs> so those are the two new Pixi On The Glow Bronze Tinted Moisture Sticks right there. Like I said, the emollient and the shine that they give is really, really pretty. And a huge thank you to Pixie for sending these guys over. And that is everything that I have for my haul today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen. Have a safe Memorial Day weekend, and I will see you guys later. Bye.